How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And we're gonna have two different kinds of uh, recipes we're gonna cook today. We're gonna make a chili jambalaya, and then we're gonna make a elbow macaroni salad, a la justin, au justin, whatever way you wanna be correct about it. Hey y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend, Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. And right now, I'm gonna start putting something together. This is boiled macaroni that I boiled this morning, elbow macaroni. And into this clean, is that clean? Yes, it is. <laughs> and now I'm going to put this in there. All of it. Get in there, get in there, get in there. My hands are clean. Just wash them. Yes, did it. <laughs> and I'm going to stir that with this spoon that got hold in it. Get it around where we can really get with it, which we can do. Come up on the stove. Right there. Now, go on. Hmm. Come on. Break loose. I know you're done because I ate part of it. Yes, sir. Now, into this, we've got various things we're going to put in there. Got a list of them, in fact. And I like to read my recipe to the people because I think they want to learn. Put that there. Put this in here. Give me a little more room. Yeah, that's what I need is room. I've got a pound of elbow macaroni cooked just like they said on the back of the package, that's what it says to do. I got a cup of nice onion. This is a cup of nice onion. I'm gonna put this in there. And stir it just a little bit. We can do that now. You got to mix this stuff as you go along. If you don't, you'll have all of the good stuff in one spot and the bad spot in another spot, that's it. Into this, I'm going to put a cup of, of finely, no, a cup of dill pickle, chopped, not too fine. You want them to be in there so you taste the dill pickle. Put them dill pickle in there. Come on out of there now. I need every one of you. Stir a little bit. Then we're going to haul off there and put in there uh, some green onion. There they are, a cup of them. We've got a cup of green onion. Chunk them in there. And stir them around a little bit so it's mixed up a little. Get back in there now. Stir Ah, uh, yeah. Now into this, we're gonna haul off and put a couple finely chopped celery. I like celery, but I don't cook with much. Put that in there. Stir it around a little bit. So it makes it easier. Then we're gonna put some finely chopped parsley, stems and all, stems and the leaves. Put it in there like that. Got it all. Stir that in there some, right? That looks good, yeah. Oh man, I love this kind of salad. I really do, because it tastes good. When it tastes good, that's the mainest thing. Mm hmm Now into that, I'm gonna haul off and put pimento stuffed olives come into me, a cup of them. What we did, we just slice them down the middle so we got the color. And the flavor. Got it all, ain't that nice? Don't you fall out of there. Now that's about most we're gonna put in there. Oh, I got some hard boiled egg that's been chopped. Bell pepper. I'm gonna put that in there before I put the egg. And stir that in with, with them olives. Pimento stuffed olives. I'll see you in there. Fresh bell pepper chopped. You just like this, and like this. 
I guarantee that's going to be. Now I got these eggs, I got to put it. Oh, let me put that cheddar cheese first. That's pretty, huh? Some grated cheddar cheese. Spread around there real nice. And I'm going to put the egg on that and stir them both together at the same time. Eat, that's. Ooh, eat, that's some hell good. <laughs> Chopped egg. It took five eggs to get this thing right. It's a, about a, two cup of eggs, I think it is. Get that over there out of my way. Now, into this salad dressing, I'm going to put some mayonnaise, a cup of mayonnaise, right here. I'm going to put it in this, in this bowl to just beat out of it. <laughs> Thought to say hell, but it didn't do it. Beat the hell out of this and good. Got to get all that in there and get, because I need it. And then I'm going to put some Creole mutard, mustard in that. And beat it the way it comes back to the consistency that that is right there. More on that now. I've got to put that. And I've got a fourth of a cup of Creole mustard. And it goes awfully good in this salad dress. It makes it look good, too. Got specks in it, make you think you got more than you got. Oh, boy. Now, what I want to do is beat that together. Beat that like this so it'll be good. <laughs> Put the motion on it, it ain't gonna be any good if you don't. See, it comes back to the same consistency that I wanted. That I started with that mayonnaise. Now, into this, I'm going to put some olive oil. It says hot sauce, but I'm going to put the olive oil first. Because I'm going to beat that some more, make it look more pretty. I'll tell you for true, it's going to be good. I can't wait to taste some of this. Now, I think it said two tablespoons full. I'm a, yeah, that's what it said, two tablespoons full. I'm going to put one tablespoon food in there first. I'm going to beat a little bit. That's a tablespoon food, don't worry. And I can tell by weight if for nothing else. It's that tablespoon food, good olive oil. It's going to look better already just with an addition of one tablespoon full of olive oil. I got to put about a half a tablespoon full, maybe a little more than that. And put the lid on this, because that's all I'm going to use of that. And put a little Louisiana hot sauce in there. Beat it in there, too. You can go down. I'm true with you right now for the time being. Go on now. Now you go on. Now. now, into this, we'll put a little Louisiana hot sauce. Now, I, now see, the recipe called for a, a two teaspoons full. Oh, lose them hot sauce to my taste. No, say, no measure on this, but I'm going to put a teaspoonful in it. And that's enough of a teaspoon for the day. I mean, I mean, that is lemon juice. I'm going to add to that as soon as I get this whipped into it good. I got to watch this because I'd have it on the floor if, if I didn't. Now, this is about, uh, I would say, two tablespoons full of fresh squoze. We squoze this today. <laughs> lemon. Now, fresh lemon juice is good. That old stuff comes in that bottle I can't stand. I don't use it but I don't like the taste of it. Tastes like it's canned, and it is. Now, I got to stir this chili. I don't want that to stick to the bottom of that pot. Well, that's the part I like. We call it gratin, you know? We like that. Mm-hmm.
Okay, now you got to go over here on that. Put that on that. I don't need them to move you out of the way. But I'm going to taste this or no, but not yet. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Let me mix that just a least bit more. Get it here closer to my tummy. Oh boy, this is getting better as we go along. That's for true. That even smells good and that nothing in it yet, heart. Nothing no, no, this is good dressing. That is good dressing too. Get right there. All right, dressing, we got to go in there, every bit of you. All over. I know it looked like too much, but it ain't. It's just exactly enough, I guarantee you. We can taste some of this. I've got to wait though. You're not doing much good, so I've got me a little special here to get this a lot better than you get this. So let's get it out of there. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Now we're going. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, that's smelling good. It is good too, I guarantee it's good. I don't know just how he felt. Now we're gonna mix this real good. Oh boy, and I'm gonna eat a bunch of it, I hope. Ay, ay, ay. Now you thought that that was too much stuff I had now, I know you did. But I'm not about to put too much. I'm put just enough to make it workable, make it taste good. Did I put any salt in this? It didn't call for salt. Let me look at that recipe. I salted that stuff. Salt to taste. I knew it was supposed to have salt in there. See there? Had that hit at the bottom of the pan. Just trying to get by with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a teaspoon full of salt in it. And they've got a lot of vegetables in there. I'm gonna put another half a teaspoon full. You think they'll have, I'd bet money on a half a teaspoon full. Get it all. Now we'll mix it some more. So again, nah. Oh, you kid. Mm, mm, mm. Ay, ay, ay. Don't that look good? Now tell the truth, don't that look good? Uh, it is good. Look, it, it tastes better than it looks, I'll tell you the truth. I had a man tell me today, he says, I never do eat pasta. I said, you're going to eat some today, I can tell you that. And I don't want you eating it all after you taste that even. You know? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down over there and taste a little bit. Now some salad. Oh, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> A little sip of wine. <clears throat> and made it go down easier. Tastes so good. <laughs>